Well, and retail stocks were really a highlight this week. We saw Meyer up by 8.3%, and we also saw JB Hi-Fi gaining 5.5%. 52-week highs were reached for the likes of Cash Converters, Specialty Fashion House, as well as Premier Investments and the Reject Shop. But the rest of the market, we did see a loss. We saw the Australian market down by 2.8%. In fact, we saw every single sector trading lower, with the one exception of the telecom sector. The materials and the energy spaces were the worst sold off, down by more than 4.5%. And this is a trend that we've seen all year, where we have seen defensive areas like the telecom sector doing well, and the materials and the energy sectors being the worst performing for the year. Next week, we'll be focusing in once again on annual general meetings. On Monday, we'll hear from Arium, and this one's going to be interesting given they've knocked back a takeover offer from that consortium uh, that included Noble as well as POSCO. On Tuesday, we'll hear from Emico and Linus, both stocks that have been knocked down quite hard over the last few weeks. On Thursday, it'll be Macquarie Group, and we'll be listening out for any comments around the Yellow Brick Road uh, possible tie-up. And on on Friday, we'll hear from David Jones, and that should be an interesting one, given that we have seen retail stocks doing quite well this week. We'll also be focusing in on interest rates. The Bank of Japan has an interest rate meeting, and this is going to be a good one because it does look like Japan may be in a recession at the moment. And on Tuesday, we'll also see the RBA minutes.